Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst towering mountains, there lived a young man named Hero. Hero was known for his quick wit, sharp intelligence, and a mind filled with endless thoughts. His mind raced like a wild horse, always jumping from one idea to another, never finding peace or tranquility. Despite his many accomplishments, Hero was plagued by a restlessness that consumed him day and night. One day, Hero heard about a renowned Zen master who resided in a remote temple at the top of the highest peak. It was said that this master possessed the wisdom to calm even the most turbulent minds. Intrigued and desperate to find inner peace, Hero embarked on a journey to meet the Zen master. After an arduous climb up the treacherous mountain, Hero arrived at the temple, exhausted but determined. He entered the temple and found the Zen master meditating in the tranquil courtyard. The Zen master, a man of few words, acknowledged Hero's presence with a slight nod. Hero bowed respectfully and said, Master, I have come seeking solace. My mind is filled with endless thoughts, and I yearn for peace. Please teach me the path to emptiness. The Zen master smiled and gestured for Hero to sit beside him. To empty your mind, he began, you must first observe its chaos. Hero furrowed his brow in confusion. Master, how can I observe chaos when all I wish for is peace? The Zen master chuckled softly. Peace lies within the acceptance of chaos, young one. Sit here and observe the thoughts racing through your mind. Do not try to control or suppress them. Just let them pass, like clouds drifting across the sky. Hero closed his eyes and focused on his breath, as the Zen master had instructed. Within moments, his mind began to churn, with thoughts of his past accomplishments, future worries, and a myriad of mundane details. Frustrated, Hero opened his eyes and said, Master, this is impossible. My mind is a tempest. The Zen master smiled and gently replied, The mind is like a river, constantly flowing. Trying to control it is like trying to hold back the tide. Instead, learn to observe without attachment. Allow the thoughts to come and go freely, like leaves floating on the water. Hero nodded, acknowledging the wisdom in the master's words. For days and nights, Hero practiced the art of observing his thoughts without judgment. Slowly but surely, he began to witness a change within himself. The ceaseless chatter in his mind started to lose its grip on him, and moments of stillness emerged from the chaos. One fateful day, as Hero sat in meditation, a powerful storm descended upon the mountain. Thunder roared, and rain poured down like a relentless torrent. Seeking shelter, Hero rushed into the temple and found the Zen master calmly sitting in the midst of the storm. M Master, how can you be so calm amidst this chaos? Hero asked, his voice barely audible over the storm's fury. The Zen master smiled serenely. The storm outside mirrors the storm within us. Once you learn to embrace the chaos, you realize that it is not the chaos that disturbs you, but your resistance to it. Hero's eyes widened in realization, and a wave of tranquility washed over him. In that moment, he understood the profound lesson the Zen master had been guiding him towards. It was not about emptying the mind of thoughts but rather emptying oneself of the attachment to those thoughts. From that day forward, Hero continued to practice the art of observation, finding moments of peace in the midst of life's storms. He learned that true inner peace could only be found by embracing the ebb and flow of life, without resisting or attaching himself to its fluctuations. Hero understood that thoughts would always arise, like ripples on the surface of a pond, but it was his choice whether to be swept away by them or simply watch them pass. As Hero deepened his practice, he noticed a profound transformation within himself. The constant chatter in his mind gradually subsided, replaced by a stillness that allowed him to experience the present moment fully. He became more patient, compassionate, and connected to the world around him. News of Hero's newfound serenity spread throughout the village, and people flocked to seek his guidance. Hero, now a wise and revered teacher, shared the Zen master's teachings with all who sought inner peace. He guided them to observe their thoughts, acknowledge their emotions, and release their attachments, reminding them that true freedom lay in emptying the mind rather than controlling it. One day, a young woman named Mai came to Hero seeking his counsel. Her mind was consumed by grief and regret over the loss of her beloved father. 
she could not find solace amidst the pain that plagued her every waking moment. Hero listened attentively to Mai's story, feeling her sorrow resonate within him. He gently took her hand and said, Mai, the pain you carry is like a storm in your heart. But remember, just as storms pass, so too will your grief. Instead of resisting it, allow yourself to feel it fully. Embrace it as part of your human experience. Mai looked at Hiro, her eyes filled with tears, and asked, But how can I find peace when my heart is so heavy? Hiro smiled warmly and replied, Peace does not come from escaping or avoiding pain, but from acknowledging and accepting it. Empty your mind of the resistance to your suffering, and you will find the strength to endure. With time, the storm will pass, leaving behind a deeper understanding of life's beauty and impermanence. Moved by Hero's words, Mai embarked on her own journey of self-discovery and healing. Through Hero's guidance, she learned to observe her grief without judgment, to allow the tears to flow freely, and to find solace in the memories of her father. Years passed, and Hero continued to inspire countless lives, guiding others towards the path of inner peace and self-acceptance. His teachings spread far beyond the boundaries of the village, touching the hearts of people from different walks of life. The twist in this tale, however, lies not only in Hero's journey but in the fact that he was unknowingly the Zen master's long-lost son. The Zen master had recognized Hero's restless mind and had orchestrated their meeting, knowing that his son's turbulent thoughts held the potential for profound transformation. In this twist of fate, Hero discovered that the greatest teacher had been right beside him all along, guiding him towards the path of enlightenment. The Zen master, having witnessed Hiro's growth and understanding, revealed the truth to him, embracing his son with love and compassion. And so, the story of Hiro's transformation from a restless young man to a wise and compassionate teacher reached its full circle. The lessons he learned from the Zen master and his own journey taught him that true peace comes from emptying the mind of attachments, surrendering to the present moment, and embracing life's storms as opportunities for growth. Through Hiro's story, we learn that peace does not come from a mind devoid of thoughts but from the wisdom to observe those thoughts without judgment or attachment. We discover that within chaos and pain, lies the potential for profound transformation and understanding.